If you have a moment, please go subscribe to my second channel. Link to that channel will be in the description down below. I'll be posting all of my jump shot, dribble tutorial, build videos, and all that on that second channel. Please check it out if you have a moment. Much love. In this video, I'm about to show y'all boys one of the best working NBA 2K22 instant badge glitches that you guys need to take advantage of before it's too late. We basically going to combine two glitches into one. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man, and I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. So when doing this glitch, we're basically going to combine the rookie mode glitch with the mob player nation playoff game glitch. And it's going to allow you to get your badges extremely fast. Now listen man, there's only like two more Mob Player Nation playoff games available unless it goes to like game 5, game 6, or game 7. But these games are always double mob points and double badge progression. But with this glitch, I'm going to show you guys how to put it on rookie mode just so you'll be able to get your badges a lot faster. And then I'm also going to show you guys how you can grind out your player while you're waiting for each game to restart if that makes sense. So yeah man, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. So to start this glitch off, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Xbox and then I'm also going to edit in the PlayStation steps. And keep in mind that the rookie mode glitch does carry over to all of your player files. So step number one is you guys want to go ahead and do the rookie mode glitch which will allow you to get your badges a lot faster because it makes the games a whole lot easier if that makes sense. So before you make your new player to do this glitch, what you want to do is go ahead and load any player into the neighborhood. Once you load that player into the neighborhood, you want to go ahead and back out to the NBA 2K22 main menu. You want to go ahead and go over to features and then you want to go to your settings. Like I said, if you've never watched my videos before and you've never done the rookie mode or game speed glitch, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And like I said, once you do this glitch, it does carry over to all of your player files. So what you guys want to do is if you're going for badges, just turn the game difficulty on rookie. You can turn the fatigue off. And as far as the game speed goes, if you're going for badges, keep the game speed on 50. If you're going for VC only, put the game speed on 100. But since we're trying to ground out this player and get badges, keep the game speed on 50. After you do that, you want to go over to play now, hit quick play, make sure your controller is on the right hand side, and then you want to go ahead and load this game up. Go ahead and go back down to your options, go to your settings, make sure the game difficulty is on rookie, and then you want to join somebody that you have in the neighborhood, so join a friend. If you don't have any friends online, use a community post. If that's not an option, add a few randoms from the park before you do this glitch, just so you have people on your friends list that you can join. So the next step is go ahead and join somebody that you have in the neighborhood. So once you load into the neighborhood, you have done the rookie mode glitch, and this does carry over to all of your player files, even the new player that we're gonna make for this badge glitch. So once you do the rookie mode glitch one time, you never have to do it again because it does carry over to all of your player files. So once you've done the rookie mode glitch, you then wanna proceed with the rest of the actual instant badge glitch. So you wanna go ahead and make your brand new player, and you wanna also make sure that you use rebirth on this player if you have it available because it will give you like half of your badges and make you a 90 overall which will speed up your grind and make it a whole lot faster so if you have the rebirth option make sure you use it for this glitch and then you want to go ahead and go directly into the nba and then from one set once you get here it's going to ask you to pick a team the very first step that you guys want to make sure that you do is if you're on xbox you want to make sure that you close out the application and then you want to go ahead and reload the game back up. So if you're on Xbox, close out the application, reload the game back up. If you're on PlayStation, close out the application and then you want to go up to your settings. Once you get to your settings, you want to go all the way down until you see application save data management. And then you want to hit save data in system storage. You can either use PS Plus or a USB. In this case, we used a USB, but you can literally choose either one. Select on NBA 2K22. And then you want to select on your most recent micro file that you'll see right here. 
And then once you do that, you wanna go ahead and hit copy. Once you hit copy, you can go ahead and hit apply to all and then hit yes. And then you wanna go ahead and reload NBA 2K22 back up. Once you reload the game back up, go ahead and load the player that you're currently doing the glitch on. And you either want to go to the Milwaukee Bucks or you want to go to the Golden State Warriors. I feel like it's going to be easier to get your badges with the Milwaukee Bucks, but that's completely up to you. You then want to go over to Mile Player Nation to have over to playoffs and you guys will see that you will have a Mile Player Nation playoff game available. These are double VC, double mob points, and double badge progression. So you want to go ahead and load this game up. In this game, you just want to ball out and get as much bash progression as you possibly can. You can go for playmaking, shooting, finishing, and your defense will come naturally. But yeah, man, ball out and get as much bash progression as you possibly can. Now, once this game is over with, you guys will see you'll get your double mob points, double bash progression, and then you'll also get your double VC. So as soon as you see your VC load up, if you're on Xbox, you wanna make sure that you hit the middle button on your controller, press start on NBA 2K22, go to manage games and add-ons. You then wanna go down to save data, click A on your user profile, and then you wanna make sure that you hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere or you'll lose all your players. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit delete from console. And if you're on PlayStation, once again, Close out the application and then you want to go up to your settings. Once you get to your settings, you want to go all the way back down to application save data management. And this time you want to go ahead and hit save data on USB storage device. Or if you chose PS Plus, you can hit online storage. But for us, we chose USB. And then you want to hit copy to system storage, click on NBA 2K22, click on your most your my career file, your most recent my career file that you see right here. Go ahead and hit copy, apply to all, and then hit yes. And then after it copies over, you want to go ahead and reload NBA 2K22 back up. Now once you reload that game back up, go ahead and select on the player that you've been doing the glitch on and you guys will see that you will be back on the screen that allows you to pick a different team. So since right now there's only one game available for the Mob Player Nation playoff games, you can now go, if you want to ground your player, you can go ahead and pick a completely different team if you would like and then you guys can go over to your quarter length and make sure you put it on 12 minutes. So you wanna pick a, like a random team, it does not matter because if you wanna to continue to ground out your player, you can either wait for the My Player Nation timer to reset or you can pick a completely different team just so you can continue to ground out your player. But these games will not be double fast progression. And then you wanna go over to your options and your settings for the quarter length on 12 minutes just so you have more time to ground out your player. And then you can also go to your progression and your badges and equip all of that and they will stick throughout this list. So you want to go ahead and load the first game that you see that's available and once you get subbed in you just want to ball out and once again get as much batch progression as you possibly can. And once this game is over with you guys will see your, you'll get your mob points batch progression and you'll also get your VC. So like I said, this is something that you can do to continue to ground out your player while you're waiting for the Mild Player Nation timer to reset, if that makes sense. As soon as your VC loads up, you don't want to get stuck on a team. So as soon as your VC loads up, press the middle button on your controller, select on NBA 2K22, go down to save data, click A on your user profile, and then once again, you guys want to go ahead and hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere. Make sure you select delete from console. And then if you're on PlayStation, once again, close out your application and then you want to go back up to your settings.
Once you get to your settings, you can go ahead and go all the way down to application save data management. And then you want to go ahead and hit save data on USB storage. Or if you chose PS Plus, you can hit online storage. But we select, we use a USB. And then once again, you want to go ahead and download your most recent my career file. So select on NBA 2K22, select on my career file. And then you want to go ahead and hit copy. And then you want to hit apply to all, hit yes. And then you want to go ahead and reload NBA 2K22 back up. Once you reload the game back up, select on the player that you're currently doing the glitch on, and you guys can see that you'll be back on this screen right here. So once again, you have two options. You can either wait for the Mile Player Nation playoff timer to reset and go back to Milwaukee or Golden State, or you can pick another team and continue to grind out your badges, and you can repeat the steps as shown throughout this glitch. So yeah, man, take advantage of this glitch before it's too late. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on notifications, man. We out. Peace.